Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Superpower User. My name is Stanley. And today we're gonna to be doing a quick unboxing of the Manfrotto 190X Pro 4 along with the 504AH fluid head. So just a quick background, I, been using one of those Amazon Basics aluminum uh, tripods for the last several years now. And they've been great, <laughs> it's cheap, it's $20, but recently I've actually lost the quick connect, you know, the, the snap-on piece that mounts to the bottom of the camera, so I've lost that. And I've been looking at, um, been in the market to, for a tripod that's a little bit sturdier for, to mount one of those sliders. Uh, that's kind of how I ended up with the Manfrotto. So the Manfrotto tripods are known to be very sturdy. And what we have here is the uh, 190 Pro, which is kind of, you've got, um, you've got the 290, the 190, and then the 055. This is kind of in the middle, middle range here. This specific version is the 4 section version. So in the box you've got the tripod right here, uh, a manual, and that's pretty much it. So the tripod itself is, like I said, the aluminum version. It's not, there's a carbon fiber version as well, but this is, you know, it's going to be a little lighter, and, but it's quite a bit more expensive. So this, there's also a three section version. Uh, this is the four section version. So you've got the three, in the four section version, you've got the three clamps that uh, basically allow it to be a little bit more squat to the ground. Um, functionally, it's pretty much the same, but it allows you to, you know, it's a little easier to manipulate um, when you're going on travels. So let's see, this tripod, you've got very nice rubberized grips here, and you also have the ability to push this down and actually and extend these legs. <laughs> First time doing this here. So you push it in, ah, push it down and push it in. Okay, push it down and push it in, pull it up. There you go. So you can get this very low to the ground and it actually has another function where if you loosen this, you can actually slide this up. Oh, there you go. And you see, you can mount this, you know, on the ground and have a 90 here and have they very close to the ground. So all very nice plus. Um, let me put this back in. There you go. Man, this thing's very sturdy. So, here you go. Uh, I don't know if I said this already, but you've got two rubberized grips that feel very good in the hands. And for the fluid head, since I'm gonna be doing more videos these from now on, um, I'm gonna be needing something to pan and tilt a little bit. Uh, in the box, you've got, for the fluid head, you've got, again, a manual. You've got actual head here. And then you've got the handle. Oh, look, <laughs> there's, there's not much left inside. Such a big box for, well, admittedly, it's not a small fluid head, but it's quite a bit bigger of a box than you really need. In any case, you've got, let's see, you've got the fluid head here. And the way uh, this is a 3 8 inch uh, connector to a 3 8 inch connector. That's also another reason why I wanted a new tripod was because the tripod I've got uh, that you're, you're actually sitting on right now, the camera's sitting on right now is a 1 8 inch. And I, again, for the slider, I needed a 3 8 inch connector. So for this setup here, 
you can see it. Uh, oh, let me get this out of the way. Here, you screw that on. Screw that on. You've got a handle that mounts to either side. You can mount it to the, well, to the left side or the right side. And you just basically screw that in. All right, now that I've got it screwed in, uh, so they've got the fluid head here. You can actually see me. Okay. So you've got the fluid head here. You've got a fluid drag system, uh, two rings here, one on the bottom, one on the side, that changes the viscosity of the fluid. So you get this the very, very smooth action, action uh, rotating, rotating action, so that you can get that buttery smooth panning and tilts. You also have a lock here that you can turn to lock that head position into whatever position you need. Uh, additionally, on top, you've got, you've got this plate. Ah, okay. And, and we're back. <laughs> so on top, you've got this plate uh, that you can insert, mount your camera to, and you can actually slide this in. Uh, sli slide this in. Push, push this button and slide this in. Okay, okay. Uh, these, oh, no wonder it got stuck. These two got stuck. So, all right, let's try that again. <sighs> all right, so uh, you got the plate where you mount the camera. Um, you have a button in the back where you push so that you can slide. Yeah, there you go. So you can slide the can or slide your plate in. All right, real quick. Here is a closer view of the Manfrotto head, 502 head, sitting on top of the 190X Pro tripod. Uh, as you can see, it's a, not actually. It's a actually pretty big, big head, um, and man, it is very solidly built. So this is the. This is the plate that I was talking about earlier. Uh, here, let me get around this way. So you push this little uh, button right here, and this allows you to slide out the entire plate. I'm holding the camera at the same time, so <laughs> I'm struggling, but there you go. Here, this is how you can take the plate out. You can see the plate. So you mount your camera on top of this, and you can actually slide it back in. Whoopsies. My bad. Okay, here we go. Slide it back in. All right, and there, it's back. So as I was saying, you could slide this back and forth, and but your camera won't come out unless you push this button. So it's a really nice feature. And then you've got this right here. This will lock it down. And once you've that, got, got that locked down, this isn't gonna move anymore. Also, once, if I unscrew the head, everything's just so smooth. You can see, it's a very big, big top. And then this is, this is the, uh, here you go, let me focus in on this. This is the, the bubble level to show if the whole thing's on level or not. Uh, overall, very, very nice tripod. Oh, uh, almost forgot. This is, you've got an attachment here, screw, so where you can mount your, your arms, your friction arms, um, for your, either your lights or your um, screens that go, to, go with the camera. So this is a very nice feature as well. Now, 
closer look at the feet. The feet, the way they clamp, it's actually got a little bit of force, but it's not too hard to open up. You see, you could do it with one finger if you need, and it snaps into place really, really, really nicely. Overall, very, very nice tripod. I love it. So overall, I think this is a really, really good setup. It's a little bit on the pricier side because uh, you know the tripod is close to 200, and then it's another one something over 100 for the fluid head. So, but you know the, these things are going to be built and can be lasting for years to come. So it, it's it's not necessarily a bad investment, I don't think. Um, and it's going to be certainly servingly well in future YouTube videos. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you want to see more of these videos in the future. All right, thank you. See you next time.